Hello world, it's Holly Ann. Today I'm officially out of the apartment from hell and I want to do a quickie empty apartment tour and I'm here with my mom. Hello. Before we get started today, I must say if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below because I post new videos every week and I'd like for you to see them all. And as always, give this video a thumbs up and leave a cute quirky comment down below. And there's my mom probably cleaning her glass or something. I wanted to also mention that this house was built in the 1860s and they say it was built in the 1920s. It was probably remodeled into apartments in the 1920s at that point. I rented this out as an efficiency studio. I pay five 500 a month, thus including all utilities except for my electricals. Thank you. Let's start the tour now. First, after walking through my front door, we are greeted by a deck door. Here is my deck. My mom's on it. Here it is. It's pretty big for a deck or an apartment. I mean, I'm like five feet tall and this is me on it. Got plenty of room. I can grill out, have a chair. Too bad I won't be doing that because I'm leaving. Square. Then we turn our butts right back inside because it's freaking two degrees outside. And we are greeted by my broken storm door. Wow, it does not close. That's like a $400 repair. Hopefully they don't put that on my deposit. It wasn't my fault. It was like that when I moved in. Then burr, 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 we are greeted by the entire living area. I lived in a studio, so it's bedroom, living room, fusion. Just for me being in it, yeah, it's about how big it is. It's really freaking small. Mom, like, isn't this like a freaking small apartment? Yes, it is. This was where I kept my desk where I would do most of like my work. I hate these curtains. Why are they so freaking short? I always felt like my one creepy ass neighbor. I always feel like he's watching me. Through them curtains. Then I had my bookshelf right next to my desk. I kept my bed right here in this little alcove. Alcove area. Yeah, that's a good word. I kind of hated it though because I have a day bed and it would not be up all against the wall and all my little pals would just constantly fall behind my bed. It was so annoying. I wanted to put a table right here. I never got around to it though because I just didn't live here for very long. I wanted to show off the fact that I do have a radiator, which may seem kind of retro and annoying, but it means I don't have to pay for heat, and I'm one of the few tenants that actually is able to adjust theirs. A lot of them have the knob broken off. Then from the radiator, we swoop over. There is a huge walk-in closet. Actually, it's not that big. We have a thing. It's supposed to hang more clothes on it, I guess. And then we have another racky thing here and a shelf. I kept my dresser right here and I kept a Riddix thing right here, which by the way does not help if your apartment already had a massive infestation before you freaking moved in. Then I kept another shelf right here in my shoes, yeah, right there. Here is a comparison, you can see how big the closet is compared to like me, like five feet tall, called Gucci. You know, I can put a few dead bodies in here and that's about it. Walking out. We have another closet. It used to be a Murphy bed, but now it's not. Now it just has a vent hook rack thing you can hang clothes on. Then we have a cute little shelfy things. I just kept like my microphone on them and that's about it. No storage on that side. Store my 2000 dildos right there. Then after leaving this closet, we tripped across the living room where we end up in the kitchen. We have where I kept my shelf, where I kept all my beautiful dry goods. Then I had a refrigerator, one of the highlights of my apartment. The only thing keeping me from giving this place zero stars was this refrigerator. It's pretty decent sized. Did its job of keeping my food cold. I liked it. I recommend Frigidaire refrigerators. Then we turn around wow it's an oven that's literally the size of like a loaf of bread yeah look at that bacon loaves we have a stove top that's stove like then we have two sinks and zero counter space this is all my counter space that's like six inches tops then above that we have our cabinets wow super small i kept my one set of plates that i own in there then I kept my tea in this one. That I can't even begin to reach even with a step stool because I'm like five foot tall on a good day. These are fake drawers. These are real though. Then for the grand thing, notice how we're in the kitchen. 
Welcome to the poop room. Wow, look at this beautiful bathroom. Ooh, tile included. Oh, hello me. Here's the mirror. It had vanity lights. The landlord did not provide me with light bulbs, so thankfully my mom did. And it has the shelf thing. This one is very janky. I did not do that. There's a little thing you put more stuff. This is a fake drawer. These are real at least. Then we have a toilet, you know, you poop and pee and stuff in there. We have another radiator too. This one's like half the size. I kept my little salt lamp night light right there. This is the bathtub. It's really freaking tiny. Yeah, if you're like average height, go luck taking a bath in here, loser. <laughs> By the way, I also want to point out who did this cutting job for these knobs? Terrible job, you failed shop class. And whoever did this before me, oh, I swear if they blame me, I'm gonna scream. It's like, Sad paint ch chip sadness sponge. That is all for this beautiful tour. We gotta get going because we were just here to clean the apartment. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave a cute quirky comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. See y'all real soon. Say bye, mom.